Thank you, Raleigh. Thanks for that uh, kind of question that, uh, that I wrote and had you read, so I appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want you to make anything up about me. Uh, and the only other Raleigh I know is Raleigh Fingers. And uh, I think uh, if you have as many awards as he did as a pitcher, uh, you're in good shape. So thank you, Raleigh. Thank you to Trading Pub. Um, who's really uh, Trading Pub's really bursted on the scene in the last four or five years, and and uh, it's done a really nice job in bringing uh, events like this together. So I appreciate being able to lead it off. And what better to lead it off than talking about your issues, your mental and emotional issues? But really, uh, if you turn that other side around, if if your emotions are working against you, the truth is your emotions and your feelings can actually be working for you. And you can you can do that by building a positive momentum. Um, I know that for me, I, I do a lot of working out. I've been I was a high school and uh, college wrestler, and and um, always had kind of sports in my blood growing up, and uh, and even into my um, more senior period. Uh, and I I know that warming up is a big part of working out. Yeah, I do play a lot of tennis also. And um, these guys got me stretching early in the in the game, and guys that have me working out, my trainers along the way, they're, they're always pressing me to do a little stretching before I work out and to uh, work out with a little bit of the light weights before we go to the heavy weights. There's always a workout and a, a pre, there's always a pre-conditioning um, uh, to, to anything physical. And I consider, and I think you have to consider yourself as an athlete when you trade. We're, we're trading athletes and whether you're, uh, whether you're Raleigh White trading or Norman Hallett trading or you trading, there, there needs to be a warm-up period. And, and I'm going to talk to you today about some of the things you can do to warm up and to, uh, to wrap up. Also very important, cooling down and exercising is important, taking your protein afterwards to maximize your training. Um, results is important <clears throat> and we have those same kinds of things as traders so I think if you come to the table uh, looking at yourself as an athlete and understanding that you can create your own results and it's not up to the market to give it to you or take it away from you and that it's up to you to have a responsible trading plan and then have the mental and emotional will and strength to run that trading plan with ease, where it's a secondary thing, where you're not hesitating to pull the trigger, uh, and you're not hesitating to be stopped out with a small loss and feel bad about it. You know, you don't want to, you want to feel bad about anything in trading because it's all a matter of what happens in the long term. Trading, as you know, is a marathon and not a sprint. So I'm going to give you a number of things. Raleigh said, if you can, if you can get three things from the uh, from this presentation, all these presentations today, uh, you've you've been a success. I'm going to try to give you all three so that you can leave early today. Oh, but you can hang around for the other people, but and you should because there are a lot of really great speakers. So I want to let's get started. And, and th th this isn't a very intense uh, slide presentation, so I want you to get a, a paper and pencil, and write down some of the things that I'm saying because I'm going to give you a lot, and it's going to be most of it's going to be really over this microphone. The first thing that you need to do to build a positive momentum in your trading, and that's really what it's important to stay positive. And, and, and I think if you look back in your own trading, you'll see that being positive is kind of a momentum thing. You have a good, but you're allowing, to, you're allowing the market to dictate your momentum. You have a couple of trades, good trades, a small win, big win, small win. All of a sudden you start feeling, hey, this is great. You have an, a small loss. Hey, that's okay because I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm on a roll. Have another small loss. Hey, listen, still positive, still uh, in, in the green. Uh, so you're, you allow your trades to dictate your, your flow of positive energy. And what I'm going to give you here are ways to, to be positive and to stay in the game. Uh, in the game of trading, because there will be losses in any system that you trade, as you know, and, you, and there'll be streaks of losses. So you need to get through those streaks in order to uh, be there for the winners. I used to like to say to myself that, you know, if they're losing streak, well, I'm overdue. I'm overdue for a winner, as opposed to what some would say, gosh, I better, better take a look at what's going on and see if everything's working okay. Uh, positive expectation is a very, very key thing. Now, to be positively 
uh, expecting to win uh, when you've got a trading plan that's weak, that's a different thing in, in a way that's valuable to you, which is another discussion. But let's talk about some of the things that you can do to keep a positive momentum. Visualizing, visualizing, I put them in the same sentence, visualize subconscious training and meditation. I think I put them all in the same sentence because really it's all about focusing on you and getting inside you. Now, I used to think, before I married a hypnotist uh, 33 years ago, I used to think that hypnosis and meditation and all of this stuff was just, uh, you know, a bunch of crap. <laughs> the truth, I mean, I, I just, you know, I, come on. Get in there. i always been, been a guy, nose to the grindstone, put the work in and you're going to get, um, you're going to get the, um, the results, but you know you can get results a lot grander and a lot more easily if you align your inner power with that. So uh, with with that with those feelings. So it's it's important to work on your inner inner core, your your inner structure, and you can do that through visualizing. When you visualize, and when I say visualize, all of these processes, whether it's meditation subconscious training uh, or, or visualizing, really the, the, it all starts with dropping yourself into an alpha brainwave state, which is a very easy thing to do, which is just um, breathing in and out a few times. Breathing in and out slowly to the count of five, and in and out, into the count of five, out to the count of five. Just do that a few times with your eyes closed and you'll be in a relaxed situation. S sitting up in a chair is fine, don't have to be laying down. And when you do that, you drop yourself into an alpha brainwave state. Um, and, um, and that's the state at which you, you're communicating with your core self to make changes. Now, uh, when you visualize, you're, you, you visualize yourself as a successful trader. I like to visualize myself uh, on a yacht uh, in a, um, uh, it's kind of, all, my scene is all white. Uh, the boat is white, I'm in a white suit. And I'm sitting at the end, especially at the end of the trading day when I do a little visualization at the end of my day, I visualize myself at a, uh, in a, on a yacht being handed a martini, looking over my daily statements and, um, and pointing to the captain of the, of the small ship to take me to Bimini. And um, the end of my visualization go, goes off into the sunset uh, to the islands for the evening. Now, that visualization is good for me because, I, you know, it, it just makes me feel just makes me, you know, puts me in that place where I'm a successful trader, having having uh, the financial ability to do really anything that I want. And I think that what, when you visualize things like that, you're putting out in, thoughts of things. There is an energy to thoughts. And when you put your thoughts out, there's also an equal and opposite reaction to it. And energy can be transformed, but it can't be dis created or destroyed. You remember that from school somewhere. And um, when you put out energy, you get energy back in the form of, of options, and I don't mean trading options, choices in order to reach that goal. When you, when you keep a positive future in front, in your mind, then what you get back are the choices to make to get to that future. And if you continue to visualize things like this in a positive way and, and continue to have the strength to make the decision and jump on these choices, knowing that some of the choices may or may not take you exactly where you want to go. If you maintain that visualizing, you're going to always get the choices to get you where you want to go. So if you're a good decision maker, if you make a decision that only gets you halfway or really doesn't get you a, a step closer to that success, then uh, and you keep that visualization going, you'll get more choices and you'll keep making decisions. So. Keep making decisions, keep visualizing, and you're going to try. It's like a, it's like a rocket that gets, uh, it's like those ICBM missiles. They don't get from point A to point B. They're constantly being adjusted along the way uh, as, they're, as wind friction and so on are, are, um, are affecting the flight. And that's what we have to do. We have to keep our target in mind, but, and then we, we have to make decisions uh, to get there. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the subconscious mind and, and, um, and training subconsciously because in our course, I think what makes the real difference in, in, um, in being a successful long-term trader is taking control of your ment mental fitness. And the best way to do that is to train your subconscious mind. So I, I want to just talk a little bit about 
how the subconscious mind works, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, uh, because they're, these are two different things. The conscious mind is really the, the mind that actually makes the decision, but it makes the decision primarily based on what the subconscious mind believes is true for you. Um, let me explain it a, a little bit differently. Um, we, we operate in our conscious mind, in our creative conscious mind, only about 5% of the time. Our conscious mind, well, we're doing, well, conscious mind is with us all the time, making decisions, um, grab a cup of coffee, um, um, go to the restroom, um, make a trade, uh, pull the trigger, not pull the trigger, and so on. And what's, what's happening is that we are being, con we are um, maintaining, we're making these moves based on our, subcon our conscious mind, but our subconscious mind is where the, where the, where your thoughts and your and your thoughts and decision making really is dictates to your conscious mind. If and let me let me explain to you let me explain to you how that works. The subconscious mind. Um, <laughs> I've been listening to a guy named Bruce Lipton, who's been um, who's been really a, um, a a recent mentor of mine, talking about how uh, the sub how how we make decisions based on the subconscious mind and. I, I want to give that to you, but I, I want to give you the basic explanation also. So let me let me give you the basic explanation first, and you can read a little bit about Bruce Lipton if you want. The 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 conscious mind makes decisions based on what the subconscious mind believes is true for you, and the con subconscious mind, what the subconscious mind believes is true for you, is what it's been it's been told and been learned based on your experiences in life, and most of those experiences happen before the age of seven, and that's where Bruce Lipton talks about before the age of seven your subconscious mind is getting imprinted with the way you think about things if you if if you had parents who uh, uh, and pa I mentioned parents because before you're seven years old most of this influence is happening with uh, from your parental guidance and and early schooling and so on if 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 you were at the top of the steps w one day and you heard your parents arguing let's say about in the in the kitchen about um, about their mother yelling at the father your mother yelling at your father about the the problems that they're having financially and that the uh, the, the stocks that they're being invested in is not uh, not working out and you know please don't you know save your money let's put it under the pillow we're losing money and you get and you're sitting at the stop of the stairs listening to your parents argue and those that kind of argument and that kind of high emotion that you're in at the time is a very um, it's a very it affects the, uh, the young mind and goes directly to the subconscious mind with the message that stocks are bad, investing is bad, it's dangerous. Look at the problems that it's causing, um, and those imprints in your mind, which are um, which are are being made directly to your subconscious mind before the age of seven. Are, are carried with you through your whole life. They become your dominant neuro, neuro nets. What's happening is each time you get a suggestion like this, each time they argue in, the, in, in my example, and it may not be the perfect example, but each time you, they argue in the kitchen, you're, get, you're getting more and more um, neuro, neuro nets or neuro, neuro pathways being imprinted in your subconscious mind. And, as new, and with enough neuro pathways, being being made. This is these are these are neur neurons. These are energy into your subconscious mind, creating the, this neur it creates a neural net. So what you have to do as an adult now is to identify some of these situations that are holding you back and create your own neural nets. And you do that by dropping into an alpha brainwave state and suggesting to yourself just through the common voice. I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Um, and and you know, investing uh, my stock trading is going to lead me to my dreams. Or whatever the suggestions are that help you and encourage you to stay on a positive bent. Now we have in our in our course, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that in a second. Um, at the very end, our course uh, talks about the specific mental and emotional situations that traders get into that. Their, their current neural nets are not supporting them. They're not pulling the trigger on trades. 
if you're not uh, if you're not able to get over a series of losses, if you're controlled by fear and greed, if you're letting markets run away from you and uh, and and not pulling the trigger and then chasing markets, these are resistances to your own success that are that are the decisions are being made by your conscious mind not to take the trade, and even though consciously you're saying to yourself, I need to take the trade because my system is telling me to take the trade because your subconscious mind is holding the neural net that trading is dangerous then your conscious mind will make the decision to wait just a second until you get a little bit more sure that the trade is going to uh, to, to, to make sense to you and be positive for you so in a sense in a, in a big sense in, in reality your conscious mind is making decisions based on what your subconscious mind believes is true for you so you can see what, you're, what is true about your subconscious mind literally from the actions that you're taking. If you continue to make the same, if you, if you continue, continue to make the same uh, poor decisions as a trader, you keep on chasing trades, you keep on revenge trading, then, then you're holding neural nets in your, in your subconscious mind that are detrimental to you as a trader. They're preventing you from following your trading plan in, in my example. So what you need to do is to, again, uh, is, is to take the time, and I'm talking seven minutes in the beginning of the day. That's what we've got it down to, where you relax just for seven minutes and listen to uh, suge uh, suggestions. I'm a wise and disciplined trader. I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. I, uh, I pull the trigger as soon as my trading plan gives me the signal because that is the best way to get to where I'm going as a successful, profitable trader. And so you need to continue to uh, to build these new, and all you need to do is spend those seven or eight minutes every day for a couple of weeks. That's all. Uh, ten repetitions on a simple on a simple uh, subconscious training, and you'll build enough neural pathways. Each time you tra take it, you're you're building up neuro, you're sending neural nets to your brain or neural pathways to your brain. You build up enough neural pathways to form a new dominant neural net, and therefore when you're when the trading situation happens and you need to take the trade, you're the same stimulus where your trading plan gives you the signal to take a trade. Instead of hesitating based on the old subconscious neural net, now you're operating on the, the dominant neural net that you've created to take the trade with confidence because you're a wise and disciplined trader, and wise and disciplined traders follow the trading plan without hesitation. So what I'm saying to you is that the beautiful part, whatever's holding you back from being the disciplined trader right now the great part about it is you can you can take a few easy steps to construct the next step for yourself. I'm going to give you a free two couple of free tools here that um, uh, that you can use uh, in that. But I wanted to give you just a sense of the importance of working with your subconscious mind to visualize. Meditation is another way of taking the stress out. Um, so let me go on. I think we've covered enough of that for the moment. Because I want I, I want to give you a tip on journaling because journaling is part of this pre this pre conditioning. Well, I talked about pre conditioning when you work out or play tennis, um, and post conditioning. Journal journaling is a it can be a very quick operation. You can you can journal effectively literally in three or four minutes in the morning and three or four minutes in the afternoon. Uh, now I know um, in our course I interview a, a, a guy named Ray Barros who's a who's a um, um, a fund trader in the Singapore that runs over a billion dollars, he journals for an hour a day, an hour a day. And uh, in fact, in the interview, I, I I choked a little bit, and even that sounded a lot like, like me. For even for me, that sounded like a lot. But Ray said, "Listen, it's so important that why should I trade? Well, I should be spending half my time on on working with." how I perform and making commitments to perform better in the future. So journaling is all about self-analysis. Can I ask, if, you, if I can be honest, with, if you can be honest with me, I'd like to ask you, if you can write in the chat line, um, how, do, you, do you journal? Just give me a yes or no. Uh, do you journal consistently? Okay, I'm seeing... I'm seeing kind of a combination of yes and no, and I, f I really appreciate you being honest w with it. Um, those people who, who answered, yes, I journal, do you journal anything that has to do with emotion? Just those people that do journal, 
Do you journal anything that has to do with your mental and emotional fitness? Richard does, which is excellent. Sometimes, yes. Nandini is, is uh, honest saying no. Not that the yeses are not honest. Sometimes, Jerry, it's a good right in the middle answer. Okay, I, because I believe, and, and I've seen, and listen, uh, it's important to review the results of your trade. Most, most people who journal are journal for the, uh, for the review of the statistics. Uh, what did I do right? Wh which trades worked out? Which triggers seemed to work? And all of that is excellent. In fact, that's really why I look through my trades is to is to go back and see which triggers seem to be working well, which exit strategies uh, that, that I use seem to be working on a specific market. It's a great way to kind of see what markets uh, fit into what ty types of trading techniques because everybody usually has more than one particular trading plan. They do things through different in sideways markets, trending markets, uh, uh, very, very volatile markets. But find that that the most important part of journaling when I work with traders is the mental and emotional part. I'm going to give you right now, for those who are, not, who are journaling and not journaling any mental and emotional part, and, or those that aren't journaling at all, I'm, I want to give you just a process. Okay? The, the process, and, and again, this journaling process is something that, that I'll give you the beginning and I'll give you the journaling at the end. Okay, let's let's start with the end of the day journal. When you finish with your with your trading, you should take out a. a I like to use a beautiful book, something with a really nice cover, something that that really respects what I what I'm doing here, and that's uh, working with myself internally. Really, kind of in a way, judging yourself, in a way, improving yourself. It's a way of of kind uh, inspection and 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 suggestion to yourself. So I I like to. I have all kinds of journals that I've used over the past, one with fish skin cover that I got from Egypt one time and a beautiful gold. We, we sell one that's a kind of a gold leaf uh, version. And, and that's important because I think you need to, it's, it's like an important book when I open it up. That's my point. So take out, take out your journal, open to a blank page. And what you want to do in the, at the end of the day is start with the, start with the sentence, today, always something positive. Today, I, and whatever you did positive, today was a great day trading. I took every, today was a good day. I took every trade uh, that was given to me without hesitation, that the like, system gave me without hesitation. Uh, now, once you make the, the positive statement about something that you did right, that now it's time to identify something that you want to improve on. I did do something that, I did do something that was unnorman like Now I use unnorman like I use beside myself. I'm taking responsibility for it, but I'm not pinning this problem on me as part of me. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm identifying the problem, but I'm not owning the problem. I'm saying it's not like me. Even if I've done it a couple of few times before and it's something that I'm working on, uh, it's apart from me, but I did it and it's unlike me. So today I did an unnorman like thing. Today I did something, I was beside myself today and and I and I pull I moved my stop when the market came down, figuring that and and I give the reasons why I made the mistake. I moved the I I I pulled my stop when the market came just before the market would have hit my stop and took a bigger loss. I did this because I I heard something on I heard Jim Cramer say something, and um, and I was swayed by that to come off the off my trading system. Um, Tomorrow, tomorrow I will be the stop king. Tomorrow I will make sure that I stick with my plan totally and I, and I place my stops accordingly. I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Okay, that's the structure of afternoon mental and emotional. If you're not doing any journaling, do that. So start with a positive statement. Even if I took, even if you lost every trade that day, I took every trade my trading plan gave me. You know, I took my small losses. Today was a good day. I took my small losses according to plan. You know, something, you know, I showed up for, for trading today. You know, I wore a shirt while I was trading today. Something, even if you don't, there's something that's positive. You showed up today. So make a positive statement in the beginning, okay? And then 
I did an un, and you don't have to use my name, you can if you want, but I, I, did, a, I did an un-David-like thing. I did an un-Byron-like un thing. I did something Arturo doesn't usually do. I'm picking some names off the attendees here. Uh, I, and then state what you did and why you did it. I pulled my stop today because Jim Cramer um, influenced me, and I know, I know I shouldn't be doing that. Tomorrow I will be the stop king. So, so what I did there was I made a positive statement. I, I identified the problem but started off with separating myself from the problem. I did an unnorman like thing, whatever, that, that upfront statement. Explained what I did and why I did it, period. And then made a corrective statement, a commitment statement to the next day that says tomorrow I, will, uh, tomorrow I will be the stop king and, and I, will, I will execute my stops perfectly and, and manage them according to my plan. And then I always, and you can steal this from me, and this, I, everybody in the, in the Discipline Trader program, uh, which is only a $29 a month program right now, so, um, um, you know, you can be that too. Be with us on this. This is, a, you know, getting your mental and emotional uh, infrastructure going in a positive way. This is a very, very big thing. Always end any entry, any, always end any journal entry I always do with I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does um, and and by doing that you're 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 again creating a, a neural net you're, you're where you're where you're saying to yourself I do the right things I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does and the more you write it down the more you say it the more you do it uh, the more it will become you, okay? Because wisdom, you know, it's important. It's good to be smart, but it's it's much cooler to be wise. Uh, so you're the wise, and you're the wise and disciplined trader. Did, did, can you uh, are you are you are you good with that? Do you uh, before I go on? I really want to, I I really want to 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 push that on you, and 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 make sure you got that process at the end of the day. Do you, do you get me on that? Can I can I get a couple of uh, Responses? Do you are you with me on that? Okay, I see a I see one yes there because I want to. Please go on. Okay, all right. Now that was the end of the day. Thank you. And here's the beginning. At the beginning of the day, you start out with the la, with the with the sent with the with the corrective sentence from the from the what you said was tomorrow I'll be the stop or I said tomorrow I'll be the stop king and manage my stops exactly according to my trading plan. So the, the first thing, before you start trading, you'll, you do your mental training. I like to do my mental training first, my seven-minute subconscious training, whatever that's on. And then I, then I go to my journaling. And in my journaling, I, I, I start with, today I am the stop king. And you can tell I'm a little fun with this. You don't want to make trading a heavy thing. You don't want, that's why you don't want to trade with short money. You want you want to be trading money that you can that that is risk money, but but you but you don't want to you want to put it in the right place, but you don't want to make it heavy. I mean it, it because when you're light, you're much more you're much more flexible and you're much more. Um, but in a sense, you're you're much more likely to follow your trading plan. Okay, so you you want to stay relaxed. And so in these trading, in these journal entries, I'm the stop king. I mean, who would write anything like that? Most people would write. You know, today I'll follow all my stops and get real serious. Today I'm the stop king, you know. And I'm, I've written stuff like Lion King, move aside. Because today my roar is, and I get into it a little bit, you know. So today I'm the stop king. I will follow my trading plan to the T, manage my stops like the professional that I am, okay. So I'm always talking about how great I am. I mean, it's a way for me to say, hey, I know I got it. I know I can do it. Because if you don't feel like that, if you don't feel that you know that you got it, you know you can do it, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, there's enough negativity. I don't have to tell you about all of that in trading that it's, it's important to stay positive and stay on top of what you're doing. So, uh, again, I am the, I am the, today, I'm, today I'm the stop king. I'll be managing my trades perfectly uh, according to my trading plan. Lion King, move aside. And then I end again that entry with I'm a wise and disciplined trader and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. Okay, so there's your beginning of the day. I did it in reverse just so that you can understand where that first statement came from in the morning journaling. Uh, so 
and it comes from the, la the last of the statement of correct correcting um, of commitment that you'll correct that problem from that last statement that you made in your afternoon journaling. So, okay, I hope you got that down because that's it's really really key that you uh, that you that you make sense of that and you you make that happen for yourself. Okay, so do you have any? Are there any questions on that? Any questions on that kind of journaling? And if you've got any questions on that specifically, I'll I'll take them now because I'm going to I'm going to be moving into something else. Okay, we've got you you pretty much got that down. Okay, excellent. Um, there is a there's a you see that button on the right hand side. It's called it's a it's a button that we have. It's called the flashpoint button, and it's like an easy button. I talk I talked to you about my my wife being a and disciplined trader. And I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. So I just I just um, pressed the flashpoint button and that's what it has. It's my wife. I guess it's it's not as cool to you as it is to me. Well you know most most guys don't like their wives telling them to do something, including me. Uh, but she does it in kind of a nice way, so I, I allow it in the flash button. But this is a flash point because what happens is in the beginning when you start to to train your mind, especially there's a you know there's a beginning time where where you're not quite trained yet. You need to you're still not following your trading plan like like you know you should, and especially movements movements like changing your stop, taking the trade uh, upon a, a trigger, and so when you see that trigger, I am a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does. When you do, when you when you see that you 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 hit the flashpoint button, and it reminds you that you're the wise and disciplined trader, and you do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does, and then you take the appropriate action that you should be taking, whether it's uh, moving your stop or or getting into a trade. And these flashpoint buttons are, uh, if you go to the disciplinedtrader.com, you'll see it in our in our store. Um, so uh, kind of a, a a great way, you know. There's a, in fact, I just I don't know if anybody goes to Indiegogo but me and Kickstarter. There's some losing, cool things coming out. Traders. People are developing things. And here's a huge uh, factor. One guy is developing a. There are really uh, only two. One things. person is developing a shocking bracelet. You know, my dog. I have a. I have a little over an acre here in Florida, and uh, we have what they call an invisible fence, where where there's a wire that runs under the under the grass all around the house it, it makes an entire perimeter and the dog wears a collar and uh, if the dog gets close to the to that wire area uh, it'll make a sound and if he takes another couple of steps it'll give him a little shock not nothing to hurt him but a little as we say uh, a zets in the if anybody ever heard of getting a zets but you get that right there in the, in the dog's neck doesn't hurt him but kind of shocks him a little bit and stay away from so it keeps them on the property um, and it works really well. Uh, on Indiegogo, I saw somebody that was creating, if you have a bad habit, uh, it, you, you hit the thing, and um, you, you, you hit, the, you, you hit the, the piece, or you tap your phone, I forget how it works, but it gives you a little bit of a shock. So that it, 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 and I, I'm, I, I actually contacted and wondering if we can make that somehow custom for traders where you can sit there and, and shock yourself if you don't move your stop according to your trading plan. I don't think it would be an easy thing to do. But the idea is that here is the flashpoint button. It's something positive you can do. Remember, this is all about keeping your positive momentum. When you're visualizing and you're, and you're doing your subconscious training, what you're doing is you're substituting good ideas for the bad ideas that you were ingrained with as a child or in uh, things growing up. There's a lot more to say about how how those neural nets are gathered. And when we talk about journaling, we're talking about staying positive. I didn't, in that journaling, I didn't talk about uh, how, I, uh, how I was an idiot that day. I couldn't believe I did that again. You know, that's, I did an un-Norman-like thing. I'm, I'm identifying and taking away, stay positive. Stay positive. And when you get a, when, if you see yourself not, not perfect as, uh, with your trading discipline, Having something like a flashpoint button, where where when when you when there's a move that your trading plan has you make, you you train yourself to hit the button, reminding yourself you're the wise and disciplined trader, and you make the move like you're supposed to make. So this is all about really staying positive. 
Okay, so very, very important. Now we talked about journaling after trading too. So these are, these are some of the main points that I'd really like you uh, to try to adopt. Uh, visualizing, doing some kind of uh, training and meditation. I know that um, I, I, we're, we're kind of nuts, a little bit nuts about it around here. You know, when, when, when we go to sleep at night, we, um, we listen to a meditative, um, I was going to say tape, but I guess I'm showing that. We listen to a meditative 8-track. Not really, we don't have the 8-track anymore, but we have a, a recording that, that uh, it's on the phone, of course, now. That um, it just puts us to sleep with a, you know beautiful ideas and thoughts in our head. Uh, also, when we wake up in the morning, especially on the weekends when I'm not just jumping out of bed um, to trade, I uh, you know we ha we have another uh, six step meditation that we do. It only takes about eight minutes, but it's all about appreciating yourself, and uh, it's all about gratitude and forward thinking and planning the week and planning the day, all in an eight minute mental thing. Your mind. The capacity of your mind is tremendous, so uh, you know take advantage of it by 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 feeding it the right stuff. And and this is this is some stuff. So whether you want to do the the meditations, uh, the subconscious trainings, uh, but uh, you know specifically you want to do subconscious trainings that are uh, that help the behavior of a trader. And that's what we have, of course, in the Discipline Trader uh, Mastery Kit. And again, you can get that online access for twenty nine dollars. So uh, yeah, I am, I am in a second, Sabrina. Um, so let's uh, let's go on because I want to give you a, another I want to give you a tool here that everybody can can have. This is I, I, this is an iPhone screenshot, but I believe th that uh, that Winstreak is now available on uh, also on uh, Android. What this is, Winstreak is something put together by my co. I have a coach. I'm a big believer in coaching. And another thing is, you know, once a trader believes that they know everything, it's over. You know, I have, I still have guys that I talk to about trading, and I have several businesses um, that I'm involved in, and one of the businesses, of course, is helping traders to be more disciplined. It's my main business and I, because that's my main love uh, to help that happen because I've seen the, the the transformations that happen. This, this, if you look up Win Streak, this is something put together by um, Strategic Coach. Strategic Coach is a um, a very exclusive. Uh, club of high-end entrepreneurs of which I don't know how I got in and they needed they needed a hundred guys I guess I was a hundred and one uh, I remember I did a, a workout contest um, some you know transformation where you take a picture of yourself um, on day one and then you wait six months and you take a picture of yourself on on the, after six months you compare the two and if you if you had a tremendous transformation you you would win a hundred thousand dollars. So I entered that contest right when I was turning fifty, and um, and I thought I thought I would win it. They gave prizes to the top ten. Um, they uh, I thought I would win it, but I, I never did hear from them. Uh, I'm still waiting. But uh, so I tell everybody I came eleventh. You know, it's a, again a, a way to frame it in a positive way. And I think that in this in this exclude, I mean, some of these people in this room. Um, there's Dean Graziosi in this room who's worth probably a hundred million dollars over, over the, he's, he does hundreds of millions in business a year and in the real estate business I don't know if anybody heard of Dean he's sitting next to me sometime there's uh, a number of internet gurus that are there and financial planners that are a tremendous guy that owns most uh, sells most of the fire trucks I mean giant, I'm sitting here I'm saying you know it, in a sense I could say what am I doing here in the other sense I've learned to say hey I belong here because I'm, you know, I'm a person that, you know, that 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 has something to say and something to share and something to give. All of these guys feel the same way. So, uh, anyway, in this room, the the Dan Sullivan is a guy who uh, who instructs us. He gives us processes as an entrepreneurs to get through situations. You know, when business is down, when business is up, how to keep it that way. Uh, but mostly introspective. What do we want? How to delegate? So on and so forth. But he's very big on positive momentum. Also, maybe you know this is where I've I've really encouraged myself to take this message to traders and formulate you know a process behind it of kind of put the pieces all together. And this is of course we do that in the, the discipline trader. And I want to show this is something that he comes out with. Now this what it is is if you just look up under your apps win streak. It's a free download. What you do is in the morning, you in the beginning of the day. 
uh, you talk about today's – actually, what you're looking at here happens I, – I like to do this at the end of the day. So you look back at the end of the day. When I say the end of the day, I mean usually about 6 o'clock. Before dinner, I do this. I eat about 7 o'clock. So right around 6 o'clock, I do this. Right before the martini, I do this. And I sometimes I'm doing it during the martini, I have to admit. But uh, So what did you do today that was positive? Okay. I drank two liters of water. This is not, I think Dan did this, the instructor. Uh, he put in these examples. These are not mine. Finished reading a novel or a book. Found a reliable contractor to start the next phase of office renovations. Now, I use Winstreak for, as a trader. I say, what were my wins today? You know, had more, you know, today I made money, you know, as a trader. Uh, even if I lost money. Today, today I lost money, but I kept my risk under control. Um, I consider that a win, okay? Um, something else that you will, as a winner, as a trader, uh, you pick three things. And I actually, I usually do two and then one personal. If you really want to know what I do, but you can do the. The idea is that state three wins for the day. Something that you know. Again, if it even be, I, I showed up for trading today. There's always a win. You, know, I was there. I, 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 I made an effort. State your three wins and then project three wins for tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I t tomorrow. It'll, well, you know, the um, t tomorrow I'll have a strong day and follow every every uh, everything my trading plan tells me to do. Uh, tomorrow I'll be, uh, w you know, I always have a workout thing. Tomorrow I'll lift the intensity of my workout. So I'm uh, using that personal thing as something working out because I'm I'm working out actually for a contest right now, believe it or not. So the idea is that uh, that you 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 log your wins and then you log you log your wins for the day and then you list your trade your wins for tomorrow. Okay, in this case. Uh, a, an eight-kilometer run in the morning, great dinner with his wife, and um, making make notes for speaking engagement. Okay, then uh, that's that's done. Every, so the next day at six o'clock, you take a look. I usually flash back to tomorrow's wins and see if I did it. Sometimes I cheat and I make tomorrow's wins today's wins, but I try not to. You know, you can play with this any any, any way you want. But the idea is you're, you're you're spending just a few minutes focusing on what what right during the day. And what you want to get, what what you want to do right for tomorrow. This, believe it or not, this simple exercise has turned people around in that room of high-end guys that I just talked about. When he first came out with this about a year ago, um, you know, we all tried it, we we're all doing it, and you know, I do it, but I, you know, I do it as part of a, a a grand momentum in my life. As you can tell, here it is, eight in the morning, and and I'm positive. How can that be? <laughs> because all the negativity hasn't hit me yet, hasn't listened, hasn't listened to Kramer today, which I, I never do, um, except for do the opposite of what he says. But the idea is, is uh, you know, this is another great tool. you got to start somewhere. This is a free tool. I'm telling you, these guys stood up in the room and were, and were grabbing the microphone and saying, hey, I tried this, Dan. I tried Winstring, and it really works well. I found myself creating a positive momentum so you can you and if these guys are saying it then um you know they don't have they don't listen we all have problems that you know when you make money you always want to make more money it's never it kind of never is enough unless you get that straight in your head but the idea here is that here's here's something that high-end guys have used i've seen it work for beginning traders i mean it doesn't matter where you are to honor yourself and respect yourself for what happened positive today and then project again. This is a, really a form of visualizing uh, what your wins will be tomorrow. It's just another way of filling your mind with with the, the, the kind of neural nets and positive uh, uh, neural pathways that you want in order to to make to make decisions based on later when your conscious mind has to make decisions. So, again, this is a conscious exercise for sure. But when you're writing things down, when you're typing things in, it, it does become a um, a, a, a neural net creative type of an exercise too. So I really wanted to <clears throat> make sure that you have this. So uh, again, just search for Win Streak and uh, and download that. I think you really have fun with it. If you have kids, uh, uh, this is another thing in in the room. A couple of these guys gave this to their teenagers, and one had a 25 year old daughter that was kind of struggling, and you know, with her own feeling good about herself. This worked wonders, he said, in two weeks. So, um, you know, you, you don't have to review your kids. You just give it to them. To show them what you're doing. And, you know, when you, when, you, when you tell kids something that you don't do, sometimes it doesn't have the same effect. So 
can I, sh you know, show them how it's working for you, and um, and 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 suggest maybe that they do it. It can't can't hurt. Terrific, uh, terrific thing. So let's let's go on. I want to show you here a little bit about, and I want I want to make some points based on uh, this. You're looking inside the membership area of the Discipline Trader Insider. The Discipline Trader Mastery Kit is a kit that we sold for two thousand dollars. Uh, years ago, and very, very well worth it. We actually sold it for more, and and it was two thousand dollars. Majority of units were sold at that. It was a twelve CD. You were shipped a beautiful box. Anybody actually own the box, the uh, mastery kit on this call? The actual box of twelve CDs. Just wondering, because we've sold thousands of them. Just wondering if um, if anybody on this, because we're. Um, oh, okay, Andrew. So you have the box, the black box, the beautiful black box. Um, do, do you, it's a nice box. It's 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 been known as the nicest physical uh, presentation. It, it won it's won awards uh, as a, a beautiful piece of presentation. The problem is it's it's CDs and CDs are um, they're passe. I mean they're make most most laptops right now are made without CDs. Everything is downloadable. Everything is Bluetoothable, and so um, you know. It, it it wound up being passe. What we did was we we had all of the material that is in the in the discipline trader master. We get every every bit of what's on the twelve CDs. We put it online a couple of years ago, and we've noticed that you know people have been using the uh, the material for now for a year or two years and never opened the box because it's all here right online. So um, so we're we've decided to to just let everybody in on this. I mean I don't want. I don't want a trader left be no let no trader be left behind. Everybody needs trading discipline. And for twenty nine dollars a month, um, you can you can quit at any time. Uh, but I think you're going to want to stay. We have a very very long retention rate on this because of the how inexpensive it is and how effective it is. I want to show you some of the things in the discipline trader mastery kit and comment on on it. Uh, anybody that, that that joins would need, you want to look at the welcome. Uh, it's a ten minute welcome video where it shows you all the you know how to navigate the, the site. And it, when you go to I'm gonna give you a link that you can you can get it for twenty nine dollars a month and, and and you know again you can stay as long or as, as short as you want. Uh, and you'll be able to um, you, there's a tour, an actual tour, but I'm gonna show you a couple of slides here. The um, you see there's a, a basic series. What happened was we were training people's mind, uh, giving the tools to create the positive um, neural nets, neural pathways that create the neural nets through these seven-minute subconscious trainings, uh, and people were sticking to their plan. The problem was they were losing money because their plan was lousy, and so it, it, we backed up and said, "Hey, let's do an hour on the four important concepts of how to build a trading plan the right way." The first one is building a, you know, how to how to build a, a, a responsible trading plan. Okay, the, this the structure. The second one zooms in on the most important part of the trading plan um, in these four videos that I talked about in the basic series. The second one is on risk and money management. The third is on journaling because again, introspection is your only way to be honest to tell you where you go, so that where you are, so that you can can project in a positive way where you want to go. Uh, the fourth is 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 looking at your trading like a business. I talked about looking at yourself like an athlete. You, you need to look at your business as you're trading as a business. Losses are cost of doing business, gains are profitability, and you want to have a profitable business. So you need to reframe that. And, and that, that hour really, I have experts doing each of these three things. I, I comment along the way in these presentations, but you're going to see that um, um, uh, the, the one on tra looking your, the great Joe Ross, he must man must be 75 or 75 years old, and a real icon in the business. He's a terrific guy, and uh, he talks a, about how to run your trading as a business, how to frame it. Very very important. So you take a, you take the basics first. Okay, that's important. Making sure you have it solid. Now once you have a solid trading plan, then it's time to condition your mind to follow that trading plan, and that's really what the 
um, what the rest of the kit access is. And in, in the kit itself, again, we have the basic series, then you have the core modules, and there, there's a lot of bonus material. I just keep adding to it as I do seminars and webinars. Generally, in fact, from here on in, I'll be doing seminar or webinars on specific topics. Some will be on this stuff that I talked about with Bruce Lipton and, and how he talks about the subconscious and conscious mind um, and his take on it, which is slightly different from what I just talked about and even more potent. He's a, um, he's a, um, a scientist who's a, a cellular scientist who, um, who just knows all about the brain and how all of this works. Anyway, I'll be bringing that. And when I do these webinars, I'll start, be starting a series on it next week. And as I bring them to the public, only the record, I'll, I'll invite the public usually, but the recordings, at least for the first part, part of it, and, but the recordings are not available to the public. The recordings are only going to be posted in, in the mastery kit area here in, in your membership. So another reason why it's worth being with us. But the core materials is where, where you really get the punch and where you're really training your mind to be the wise and disciplined trader. And here's a, here's a sample of a core module. There's six core modules. Each one starts with um, each one starts with a uh, a subconscious training. In this particular one, it's the strength to pull the trigger. Now we've identified six core areas that are very important that you and and it's important that you know what they are. I can tell you a couple of them right now. The strength to pull the tr trigger, patience is another one. Core module five has the subconscious training patience. Uh, subconscious training, uh, developing patience, because patience is probably your biggest ally as a trader. I think if you think back, patience um, is, um, is really where it's at. I don't, you know, those that own Andrew, I don't know if, uh, Norman, you mean we really get the same contents in the Mastery Kit for 29 uh, online version? Yes, that's correct. And I, I know that that may make Andrew mad, who, who probably paid 1000 to $2,000 for it. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done leaving people out. <laughs> you know, I mean, um, a guy said to me the other day, "How can you ever make money on twenty-nine dollars?" You know, I said, "You know, if a thousand people come on, a two thousand people come on, and we're already heading toward those numbers, uh, I, I'll make plenty. You know, I'll make plenty, and I'll be able to give people what they need. There's nothing like this out there. Nobody's doing this. Nobody." I'm, I'm not saying nobody cares. No, they, there, are, there are people that care, but nobody puts it together like this. This is the essential part. This is what's missing with most traders. This is where, this is where the improvement needs to take place. You know, even a so-so a, a okay trading plan can make you money if you follow it. The problem with an okay so-so trading plan is that you you have more doubts because it works less of the time. A better plan is easier to manage because, because it wins better, but it's not the whole thing because as you win in a great trading plan, you expand your positioning, you, the number of positions you take on, and all you need is one loss to take it all away. And so you, you can mismanage a great trading plan. When you learn how to control your emotions and stick with the trading plan that you know works, you will be surprised how you will turn struggle into accelerated uh, success. And, and I'm just saying to you, it starts with, with taking simple seven-minute trainings. Um, and, and I'm going to show you what one of those looks like in a second. But here's, so strength to pull your trigger is important. Uh, getting over law, overcoming greed and fear is another one. So in the beginning, you want to choose one of these. So in core module one, it's all, this is all about your strength to pull the trigger. There's an affirmations that come with a lot. A lot of people like to listen to it in the, in the car. There is some, there is some benefit to, to conscious training, which is affirmations where you're repeating, uh, you know, I'm a wise and disciplined trader, and it's like that guy that looked in the mirror. I like myself. I like myself. Uh, I, uh, it, I'll give you a disciplined trader hat if you can tell me who was that, uh, who said that? I, the guy from Saturday Night Live. I like myself. I like myself. He used to look in the mirror. Uh, if you can tell me that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll give you a discipline trader hat. Anyway, the idea is that what we found is that if you use conscious training, 
along with subconscious training, there's a synergy that gets the result even faster. But you've got to do the subconscious. You've got to commit to the seven minutes a day in the beginning of the day. Anyway, so here's core mo typical. Uh, there's six core modules. You see the uh, affirmation. You see the subconscious training. Then you've got to, we start, you, I start to give you some ideas on journaling, a primer, kind of the good things in, that you should be probably looking to do in your journaling. Um, and a special report on how to pull the trigger without hesitation. So all this is really about how to pull the trigger in core one. But each of the six core modules has a separate mental training and has a separate focus that's important from a mental and emotional standpoint. And I'm not going to go through the, all the modules, but here's core module two, uh, which talks about overcoming thoughts of fear and greed. So at least I got something right. Uh, and so you would be taking this particular seven-minute session once a day for a couple of weeks. So that's all it takes to build enough neural pathways to create a neural net. So now you're not operating out of fear and greed. When you have a winner, you, you respect the winner and you, you stick to your plan. You don't increase the number of positions just because you're making money. Uh, you, you have to learn, and J Joe Ross talks about this, and of course that you have to learn to respect the profits when you close it. When you close out a profit, that's your money. It's not okay to give it back. It's not okay to risk a little bit more because, hey, it's the market's money. It's your money. You earned it. It's a business. So uh, thoughts of fear and greed, you've got to eliminate those. Th this session does that for you and uh, also uh, has the uh, appropriate affirmations with the same kind of suggestions that you can listen to in your car. Some of these guys, some people play the affirmations in the background on the computer while they're training in a very, very light way, and that's cool. There's no uh, b tweeting birds or, or ocean waves, and, uh, and this is just a voice. All of our sessions is just my wife's terrific voice that you, you kind of get a taste of there in a, a second. And, and again, again, more things to do, a q and A. Q &A. Uh, discussing the subconscious mind. Um, there's my ebook on how to design and construct an effective trading plan. This actually is for sale on. Um, you can buy this for I think it's twenty dollars on on Amazon. Uh, interview with Adam Hewison. You probably know Adam from ino.com. Very smart guy. But all these interviews that I do, and there's a lot of them on here with top traders. I I interview them on on how they handle the mental and emotional issues, not what stocks are hot, but how they handle their own and some fascinating. Um, reports on on how these guys do things. I mentioned the guy that does for an hour. Adam has some interesting perspective. Uh, he's an old school guy, and he does it in an old school way. Very interesting. And again, uh, there's a Q&A form that we do. So each core module has it has its own support stuff plus all the bonus stuff. And and again, each one has. But the most important thing are these mental trainings, the affirmations, and the subconscious trainings that you're instructed to take. Here's what a subconscious training looks like. Uh, you can actually choose your your spiral color, you take it right on your computer, and um, you play it seven minutes long. The thing spins around, but after about 30 seconds, uh, you um, anybody taking these trainings? I know that uh, somebody said they own the Angie. Um, it's a very yes, it's strategic coach uh, Sabira. So um, that, that's the, uh, I see that question. The this thing spins around. After about 30 seconds, you're asked to close your eyes. So it's kind of fun to change the put it in your spiral, put the spiral in your own color but again it's it's all really audio and um, but in order to quickly get in an alpha brainwave state when you're not used to meditating or listen I'm an engineer I you can't sit me down for you know I'm type A besides which is terrible it's a terrible combination you, and most traders are that terrible combination we can't sit there for seven so I say to myself hey the next seven minutes I'm, I look at the clock and I see it's eight o'clock I say, hey, if, if I looked up and it was 8.07, would that make a big difference in my life? No, but I can make a big difference in my life by saying, hey, it's not 8 o'clock, it's 8.07. I'm going to give seven minutes to this process and just relax with it. You do that enough of the time. You've got to justify it first and then, and so that you can relax and, and make this seven minutes yours because the more seriously you take subconscious, I mean, everybody did it, does it. Tiger Woods, uh, I mean, every great athlete, Mike Trout, everybody's doing, Gene Carlos Stanton, they're all doing pre-mental training, and they're all doing this exactly this type of mental training. We, we do this for golfers, too, and our, um, our sessions for golfers are required by the Royal Canadian Golf Association for all juniors because it works, and I'm giving you the same kind of training that I give top golfers. I, I'm giving it to you as a trader in the same form. So, uh, yeah, okay, Gunther, we'll get you that help, too. Um, do you have an iPhone, Gunter? I don't know if Gunter has an iPhone because we uh, uh, we do we, Android. Uh, you know, it's not on Android, but uh, 
If you if you write me, you can find my email address uh, somewhere online or on my site, thedispentrader.com. You can write me, and I'll I'll show you where you can get the Alpine software. But for traders, this is uh, this is the way to go. So I'm giving it to you all online. I just wanted you to kind of see it in in the flesh. Um, and here is this is another. Th here's what happened. Over we've been offering the material in the mastery kit online and offline now for a good four or five years in this in this form, and we keep adding to it. But the latest thing that we added is the lifestyle section. I call it dispensational lifestyle section, and it came about because our members who are using or people who bought the trade went for the first thousand or two thousand or five hundred, whatever they bought it for. Uh, they said, hey, this is working in my trading life. You know, do you have something that can help me in my personal life? I see the way what happens when you put the, your subconscious mind on your side. What happens? Um, then, um, you know, I see what happens, and look at all the great things happening to me. What about these other parts of my life? So, so we opened, we literally give you all the sessions we have in our coffers here. But everything from better sex to business skills to golf to personal improvement. So, uh, Gunter, if you were to fork up $29 a month, at least for the, for the month, you'd have your golf sessions here. There's plenty of them here to get started with. There, there are actually 20 golf sessions in total. I think we posted seven or eight here on there. Uh, there's actually two volumes of our golf line software. We, we, we posted a lot of them here. Personal improvement, personal relationship, physical fitness, sales. If you're smoking, hey. I love, you're a trader. We need you. We need you. We don't want you. We don't want you sick. We don't want you coughing. Stop smoking. Take these sessions. Uh, it's very. You know. Believe me. That's. This is the. Some of this stuff is the most fulfilling. When 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 somebody comes to me and says, "Hey, a trader says, hey, I took the stop smoking part of your thing, and now I'm not." I mean, there's nothing better than to think you help somebody with their life living longer. I mean, it's one thing to help them with their. I think you can live longer if you're richer. Maybe I'm wrong. But you know, making money is one thing, but you know, th these other things. If you're a student, you know, you can let your kid in on this. There's some great sessions for students here. Better memory, uh, relaxed test taking, all kinds of things. Again, these seven-minute mental trainings that if you just commit to taking them once a day, in a couple of weeks you'll have you'll have you'll have imprinted enough on your subconscious mind with these positive statements for you. Tennis, thinking, grow rich, exercises. Uh, here's some more for traders. Um, weight loss. So some of the ones that we didn't, that, that these are the, the trader sessions here are ones that weren't what I didn't consider core, but winds up that some people consider some of those extra sessions is just as core as the ones that I gave you in the core session. So you know, I just want to help you be the best you that you can be. And, and, and if you take your trading seriously, you can be the best trader that you can possibly be and make some really good money. Okay, and, and and the way you do, and, but you have no chance. You have no chance if you don't control the mental and and you don't conjure up your mental and emotional strength. It's a natural thing, but all these negative, neg all the negativity out there is really stopping you from getting where you want to go. Uh, and so it's very important. So if you want to be a member, um, then uh, you know it's twenty nine dollars a month. I, I didn't want this to be a sales pitch, and. and and I hope it didn't sound like a sales pitch. I, I, I took you through the elements because in there are some things I wanted to point out. Whether you ever join or not, find a way to, to imprint on your mind the, because your conscious mind is, is making decisions based on the tapes that have been made mostly before you were seven years old. And if you're not doing something to change those tapes, and you, if you want to know what those tapes are, just look at how you're acting. Because your conscious mind is making decisions based on what your subconscious mind believes is true for you. So if you keep on kicking yourself because you're making decisions that are working against yourself as a successful trader, know that it's not your fault. It kind of, it's not your fault. It's the fault in your mind. And it, now it's your fault. From here on, it's your fault because you didn't do anything about it. And I'm saying to you, we've got the tools, the simple tools to do something about it. So take advantage of that. And if you don't, at least try the journaling and, you know, but why? I mean, I've made it, made it so that, you know, I'm not going to leave a trader out here. And, again, we have people with us for years and years on this because at this, you know, to stay, it's, it's really just a, a, a give me something for what, what you're getting. You know, get, have a certain financial commitment. So that, I mean, if you pay nothing for something, then it's not. I'd love to give it away. 
uh, but but I, I need people to at least commit to something. And 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 I'm thinking actually it's going to stay at twenty nine dollars for long. It, it will go up. But you know for now, uh, and and you know getting in now forever it'll be the same price for you. And so, um, so. Uh, it, this would be the time for questions. We've got about six or seven minutes until the next person. We can, uh, if you've got any questions on any of this, on on what's in the kit, on on the journaling process that I gave you about subconscious mind and how it works. If you just want to get on on our list, um, you know, if you go to thedisciplinetrader.com, um, you can, um, you know, you'll be offered something free, and you put your name in, and you'll you'll get a, you'll be aware of any of the webinars that I do for the public and so on. So um, you know, if you're if you're looking at your bank account, there's not $29 in there. At least start somewhere. Uh, <laughs> DisciplineTrader.com. And if you want to get to the special offer, uh, DisciplineTrader forward slash community. Okay, what do you do? What do you do if you cannot remember what what's impressed your subconscious mind before the age of seven? You don't, Ken. I'm just saying to you that you know the effects of that because because you know that the decisions you're making right now are based on that. So you know what they are. You know that they're serving you and not serving you. So, you know, you can go to a psychologist and, and go back to the time and shed tears. And I'm not saying anything bad about psychi psychology and psychiatry because I've known people that have been helped. But it's a very long process. I'm saying to you that, that if you have problem pulling the trigger and you have fear, then, you know, then, then you need to have confidence in yourself that you have the ability to do this and you have the tools to do it. And by by telling yourself that in an alpha brainwave state creates neural pathways with that positive momentum and positive idea and it when you create enough neural pathways it becomes a neural net so that when you have the same stimulus to take a trade you're not operating on the old fearful old tape you're operating now on the new tape because the subconscious mind is really just a tape recorder it doesn't judge it's it's taping and it tapes freely till the age of seven until your conscious mind starts to tip kick in and at that point your conscious mind starts to edit out ideas and thoughts and new ideas based on what your conscious subconscious mind believes in true but before that it's a clear path so you know those that are have kids it's very very important to 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 give them positive feedback about who they are you know i can i i grew up in a family where all my brothers did well in school and you know and and you know, I don't know that we're any smarter than anybody else, but when we came home with a B, my parents would tell me, look at all these, hey, great on the A's and, and okay on the B's, but you, you're a smart kid, you know? You're, you know, you, you're smart, and, and B is, this is not you, B. You know, let me know anything that I can do to help you to get to that A, but, but, but you know, you've done a great job. You know, let's see if you can get that B up, but I'm telling you, you're you're really you know you're, you're you're you'll be at the top of the class shortly. Very positive. It wasn't hey come on god damn it if it, you know get in your room. And, I mean, because we had a positive feedback along the way. It's really maybe that's why I'm in this business right now because I see how it works in my life and I want it to work for you. So um, the answer to your question, how do you? You, you don't have you know what's in there, what the dominant neural nets are based on how you're acting, and then it's a matter of of identifying the poor behavior and submitting new ideas to your subconscious mind with the positive behavior. We've we've sectioned all of that out in the Discipline Trader uh, course, at least for traders. And then in the Lifestyle course, I mean, better sex. I mean, why not? It's, it's in there too. Um, what about tapping? Jarrow, tapping, you've hit on a great thing. Tapping is terrific. In fact, uh, we're, we'll be doing something early next year. Tisha is an expert on the on e, um, EFT, emotional freedom technique, she actually was trained in TFT, which is thought field therapy. You're talking about tapping, which is the not the boiled down, but the smoothed out version of ta of, of all of this science. It's about um, helping control your numbing, literally numbing your emotions um, using uh, the acupressure points and tapping. And it's very unique, very interesting. If you're at all open minded, you're going to want to be there for for those sessions that Tisha gives. So yes, very much into tapping, Gerald. Um, and a lot of that stuff will be free. We'll give you, we'll give you, you know, those webinars will be free. But again, the recordings and the uh, will all be posted when we do it on uh, on the membership for no extra charge, but other than this twenty nine dollars a month. So, uh, do you have any meditation link? Well, I don't have a meditation link, but but on Sama, uh, I, you know, if you look on uh, just look look in your apps and 
look at the ones that are the most popular. Those are usually in mind movies. I think has a lot of great stuff. And I'll 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 give you if you write me, I'll give you a couple of links to them. Uh, but again, um, you know, I think Deepak Chopper has terrific things, and so on. I'm seeing a message here from Raleigh. Uh, no, he's uh, closed our chat. That's okay. Must I must be doing a good job. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, Deepak is great. I, I like this. Uh, I like. Um, Bob Proctor has a couple that I really like. You know, he's a kind of a grandpa type voice. I kind of like that. I love my grandfather, and then, you know, when he talks, I, I just feel warm and fuzzy. So it gets to me. So you know, he's got that kind of voice. Um, does emotion come from subconscious mind? Uh, no, emotion doesn't come from the subconscious mind. Emotion is a, you know, is, a, is another, is another aspect of the brain and so on. But it gets triggered by the thoughts in the subconscious mind. Um, so, okay, uh, hopefully you got, we've only got a, a minute or two, but did you like what you heard? Do, do you promise to commit to some of this? Will, you, will some of you at least try try this, get, fork up $29, make it happen, and, and see what, see the kind of tools that you can have to assist you uh, to, to be a, a better you, a better trader, because a better trader is a better, a better you. And I can say that because before I got into this mental, so I've been trading for 33 years. I used to walk out the door, and I've been married for the same period of time. I've been walking out the door. When I walk out the door here at the office, I've traded for my house for the last 20 years, literally. And my wife could always tell, Tisha could always tell if I had a good or bad day based on how I responded, whether I, you know, wouldn't pet the dog or whether I, you know, you don't want that. You don't want trading control of your life. You want to, trading is part of your life. You know, I, I grow my own vegetables, my own my own uh, fruits, out, a lot of them out there. I'm, I'm a member of the urban farmer, and I, I'm really into that. And I, I make sure I take some time for myself that, that trading is just part of my life. So hopefully you all had a good time here and, and got you off to a positive. There's some great, great speakers on this. So, so whether you listen to them live, pick a couple to listen to live because it's always better. Uh, listen to the recordings because, uh, you know, uh, these guys are traders, they know what they're doing. Okay, thank you, everybody.